everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is I'm gearing up for my Mexican Riviera cruise, you guys. Uh, I'm gonna be doing this cruise solo, meaning I'll be staying in my own stateroom by myself and I'll be flying from Virginia to LA all by myself, which is something new for me. I mean, I've traveled, I've flown to Florida and back by myself before, but never across the country. So this should be, this should, should be interesting. Uh, but today I'm going to be bringing you my cruising must-haves. Now, as you can see here, I have the suitcase I'm taking, the carry-on I'm taking, and I have some packing aids here. I'm going to be talking about these in a, in a separate video. Today's video, other than I just wanted to show you and tell you what I'm taking for this uh, cruise. I am paring down what I am taking, not so much clothes-wise, but my must-haves. Uh, and camera equipment and that kind of thing. I am really paring it down you guys uh, It's just gonna be me. I'm not gonna have help, you know to get me through the airports uh, And so on I will be checking this piece of luggage. It's a 28 inch spinner. I will be checking that uh, Because I'm not a carry-on kind of girl. I mean, just put everything in one of the rolly carry-ons and then, you know, throw it above my head in the over the overhead compartment. I, I don't even want to try to do that, you guys. I don't even want to try. It's just not, it's not me. It's not me. I don't have a desire to have to think about trying to pare down that much, you know? So, uh, but I have pared down my must-haves and what I'm taking as far as what I think I'll need when on the cruise and some things that are specific to cruise ship staterooms uh, so in here i have all kinds of my packing cubes and packing folders and again i'm going to talk about all of that in another video but we're going to concentrate on my must-haves in this video and i have sitting here literally the bags that i'm going to be putting in my suitcase in addition to my packing cubes and one packing folder literally just two more bags one is my cos cosmetic bag i've decided to take this as my cosmetic bag and i'll tell you about the bag in a second and, and of course it does not have all my cosmetics in it but i do have some things in here that i want to go over with you uh but this is my cosmetic bag this is a oh my goodness i can't think of the name of it i'll flash it up there it's a vera bradley uh giant cosmetic bag something like that but i'll tell you about this in a second and then this is the same kind of bag just a different pattern and this has my must-haves and this is pretty much packed except for i need to add some tide pods in with it but this is pretty much packed so let's start with this and i don't even have it heavily packed it is you know there's a lot more room in there if i want to add something else you guys very easily closed and uh and kind of smushed down even further you know I, i'm really i have really pared it down for me for me this is pared down y'all <laughs> so let me go through this and uh first thing i'm going to be taking is and i'll be utilizing this and i will do a literal packing video you know showing you how i utilize my packing cubes and packing folder and how i weigh my everything and make sure that my bag is under 50 pounds no matter how i'm flying you guys i make sure that my suitcase is under 50 pounds i try to be mindful of whoever is going to need to pick up my suitcase and handle it of their backs and of my own and and i have to realize that i am the one that needs to push this thing by myself especially this time that i'm not gonna have chris to say oh honey i can't get this can you pick this up you know this is all on me so i've got to make sure i can i can handle this so i use a suitcase this is a a, a scale and you wrap it around the handle and you can and you can weigh it you can see there and uh that tells me exactly how when well, this thing's seen better days sorry <laughs> this shows me how much exactly how much my suitcase is going to weigh so it's not going to be a, a, a you know a surprise when i get it there to check in and they go oh you're 50 and a half pounds no i make sure i'm well under 50 you know so a suitcase scale very important also important to have it on the ship you may have a scale you can set your suitcase on at home 
but you're not going to have anything like that on the cruise ship. So I take one with me and I stick it in the front pocket of the suitcase and done and done. You know, I just have it in here so I know where it is. So a suitcase scale. Uh, I always take my own soap just because I like my own soap and I keep my soap in the shower in the soap dish. What I have found in these showers, the water, you have really good water pressure. You will in your shower usually, oh, in Princess Ships anyway, you have pretty good water pressure. And the water just beats down. And if it happens to beat down on your soap, your soap goes away really quickly. And your cake of soap might not last you a week, you know. So I make sure that I keep it in the soap dish. And I try to keep the soap dish, you know, out away from where the water is hitting, which is sometimes difficult because sometimes the showers are not all that big. But anyway, I always take a soap dish. I always take my own soap. I like my soap. I don't like their soap that that they have like the little cakes of soap. I don't like their soap. I am going to be leaving my uh, hand soap at home though this time. I will have to use their little cakes of soap for that. I'm, you know, I'm not going to take that. That's just something I don't absolutely have to have, even though I prefer it, but it's something I don't have to have. So anyway, next I always take a little uh, bedside clock. Now you can't tell this by, the, by looking at this, but this clock it's called, it's a marathon alarm clock, but it's got a lit face. I am one of those people who I have to wake up. If I wake up in the middle of the night, I want to look somewhere and be able to see what time it is. I don't want to have to root around for my phone and go, oh, what time it is, and then turn that light on and it's really bright in my eyes. I, I don't like that kind of thing. I like to look over and see what time it is in the middle of the night. And I, I, that's just me. It's not like I'm, I'm on a cruise. It's not like I have to be anywhere at any certain time necessarily, unless I'm doing an excursion. But I like being able to see. And this is not expensive. I think this was like $20 on Amazon. And it's, uh, it's supposed to be an atomic clock, meaning that when you change time zones, it changes time zone, it changes the time and the day and whatever. It doesn't do that, you guys. It will not do that. I think it's, we figured out it's because of this too much steel with the ships. It just, I mean, Chris even had it hanging out the balcony one day. Went, okay, let's see if it changes. And it didn't. I said, don't drop that. I need to see what time it is. <laughs> but it has its own little stand, you know, and it sits right up on the, on the bedside. It's a table, you know. So a little clock, a little, little clock, which I, I just love. Okay, on cruise ships, uh, you will not have a lot of uh, electrical outlets. And they also do not allow surge protectors. But I highly suggest, encourage you to take an outlet extender. And this is an outlet extender that we in uh, the Alaskan Cruises on Princess Facebook group or Princess Adventures, uh, Cruise Adventures, uh, Facebook, I, I'm... I'm an admin in both of those and we highly suggest this one it is specifically for to be used on cruise ships it is not a surge protector and please don't be one of those people who goes yeah I'm gonna take it anyway I don't care if they allow it or not surge protectors are fire hazards so uh, I am gonna be having a balcony room on the Royal Princess. So uh, I think I'll just have one outlet at the desk area. And that's pretty much, that'll be my outlet, you know. But this, as you can see, has two extra, out, uh, you know, plugs. And then it has three USB chargers too, where you can, you know, plug in your phone. Now, I will give you a link to this in the description, for sure. From Amazon, not expensive. And worth it to keep a hold of it if you don't get it confiscated. They very well might take a surge protector if they see it. Okay, uh, important little uh, tip here. Did you know that the walls on your cruise ship are metal? Therefore, magnets can stick to the walls. And uh, so what I do is I take some 
I'll show you some cute family magnets. I do take those just to remind me of my family because I miss them when I'm gone, you know. But I also take a bigger, sturdier one. This holds like 25 pounds or something uh, with a hook on it. See that? And I uh, hook a coat on it, my hats, uh, you know, my lanyard, whatever, whatever, my purse, whatever. I, I So I'm taking just a, a few magnets with little hooks on them. Uh, for whatever I might want to, you know, hang on the wall. In Alaska, I hang uh, maps of Glacier Bay and so on. But I also have just a couple of um, cute little magnets. My dear friend Liz, who passed away of ALS, got me this one year. Uh, two of these pups are no longer with us. Mr. Sam, the brown Mufi there, he's the only one left. Bless his heart. But I'm going to take this. And then I had one just made up through Shutterfly of my family. So my girls, and this is my dad and all of us on Thanksgiving last year, and this is Chris and myself, and of course, Sam up there in the corner. So I take these, and these stick to the wall nicely in the, in the room. And then I'm also taking uh, an inside passage. So I'd take a flashlight a little like pen flashlight uh this is not a necessity certainly a lot of people say they just use their phones and turn on their phone but it's very dark especially if you have an interior stateroom it's very dark not very bright at all uh depending on the time you're you're you're, you're traveling it can be really dark at night you you know too if you're not in alaska in the summertime <laughs> uh, but i always take a flashlight and put it by my bed just in case I need to get anywhere quick and I and I can't get to a light. So I just take a flashlight. Uh, then I do take some Clorox wipes and this is me. This will not kill norovirus. Somebody said to me a couple weeks ago, oh, I've heard of something on Amazon where you can buy it and it will kill norovirus. Norovirus is nothing more than pretty much the stomach flu, y'all. And uh, it does run these ships sometimes. Sometimes you're in, you know, close quarters, relatively speaking, even though it's a huge cruise ship, you're still, you know, confined on the ship. And people are going to get on there sick. They're not going to tell anybody they're not sick. They're going to get on there with sore throats and runny noses and, and, and had just had the flu, stomach flu or something like that. That's what neurovirus is, though, is the stomach flu pretty much. Uh, I, you can't really do too much to prevent that. Honestly, this lady said that, you know, you have to wear gloves to use these. I think she said they were wipes. I can't remember exactly what she said. And I was a little skeptical because I had a nurse tell me there's really not anything that'll kill norovirus, you know? Uh, so I don't know how true that is. And I'm not going to recommend anything that I have not used myself. I do take Clorox wipes through the stateroom when I first get there though. I write down the, the doorknobs and the TV remote and the telephone receiver and the, all the door handles and the toilet and you know, all that stuff where, where germs could, could be, you know, collecting. Uh, and that's just me and this doesn't kill everything. These are just Clorox to go wipes, but I do it every time every time and I just feel like I, I've and sometimes most of the time the rooms are pristine and clean already of course you can't see germs you know uh, but uh, best best way to combat norovirus honest to goodness you guys is to wash your hands wash your hands under warm soapy water or even just soapy water and sing happy birthday to you happy birthday to you Twice through, honest to goodness, that's what I do. I stand there and I wash my hands. That's the best way. Uh, keep your hands clean. Keep your hands off your face. Don't touch your face, your nose, your eyes, your mouth, you know. Uh, whenever possible, go back to your stateroom and go to the bathroom. Use your own facilities, you know. you. Let's face it, ladies, you know, men, you don't have the problems that we ladies have. <laughs> so... Yeah, those are just a couple of tips and, and tricks that I've, you know, found that work for me. And sometimes I come home with a cold, you guys. Last time I came home from Alaska, I was gone for two weeks, and I was, had a terrible cold. Had a terrible cold. But we think it was, I got it on the, on the plane. So I have been known to pull these out on a plane, too, and use them on a plane. So, Clorox to-go wipes. Since we're talking about the bathroom, 
well, we kind of were. I also take a, a, a concentrated room spray, and this used to be called an odor eliminating spray, and a lot of people use poop pourri, which I think I'm gonna try to get some, because the ladies and I are spending the night uh, in a hotel, just the three of us and in a hotel room uh, for one night. So, you know, uh, I might bring a little bottle for there, but this is what I use in the stateroom. Bathroom, you know, for those times when it might, might get a little stale or icky smelling. I use this, I also spray it around, and this is Sun and Sand, which is one of my favorite uh, scents with Yankee Candle. So that is a must have for me, for sure. Uh, and I don't have much left, y'all. I don't really have much left. I uh, take Tide Pods. Uh, I probably will wash maybe once, if at all, on this cruise. Um, but we're usually gone at least two, two weeks. Usually I'll only be gone a week this time. Uh, but I still might wash a load of laundry or two. You never know. If you get a stain, if you want to wash, you never know, you know. So I take these Tide Pods. Uh, in on the ships right now now things could have changed so you know but right now I know that to wash is three dollars to dry is three dollars and if you want to buy their detergents and whatnots it's a dollar fifty per you know so it could potentially cost you what six seven fifty you also go to a token machine and on the royal princess or those ships for princess that are medallion ships you just uh use your medallion and you get your tokens and the tokens are what run the washers and dryers and get your detergents if you have a cruise card on, on ships that are not medallion class ships you'll just use your cruise card slide it just like you would be paying a paying a bill and that'll give you your t tokens it's different tokens to wash and to dry you have or wash and or for your uh products you have your washers and dryers you also have iron and ironing boards in the laundromats and they are free of charge you can use those free of charge and on princess ships that i have been on the laundromats are usually back toward the aft of the ship back in the 700s you know if you've been on princess ships uh on every passenger deck on every passenger deck you know so you will have access to a laundromat on princess ships but i also take oh, i love them uh i also take dryer sheets these are downy whatever i don't even know what what scent they are but i take them in a uh not only do i use them to wash with but i also put them in the drawers where i put i, I put my uh packing cubes right into the drawers but I like the drawers to smell good so I just throw a couple of these in and I'm all about my good smells you know so I always take those dryer sheets myself I always take a actually Barbara and Pat gave me this little purse oh several years ago we cruised back in 2018 uh, a couple years ago and this is just enough to hold my cell phone and a lipstick and I carry this around the ship with me so I highly suggest if you do not have pockets which I don't in my pants usually or at least a pocket big enough to fit my phone you know I take my phone in here you'll have access to your princess pattern if you want to fold your paper princess pattern which is their informational sheet up you can stick it in the little pocket in the back there fold it up you could always have access to it but they also have princess to go uh, which is an app you can get on your phone once on board the princess ship and you'll be able to check uh and, and communicate with your other uh, uh cruise mates you know so, but a little crossbody bag for you ladies that don't have pockets and, and, but want to access to a tissue, a lipstick, your phone, uh, a pen or a pencil, a little pad of paper, you know, whatever, 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 a little, little crossbody bag. And as I said, uh, Pat and Barbara gave me this little bag. It was homemade. So, but I highly suggest any of the little Vera crossbody bags. They're really cute. Uh, and you can, you know or just travel on, oh my goodness, there are plenty of cross, your favorite little crossbody bag. And uh, that is, oh, I do have some Dawn in here. <laughs> uh, just because I like to have something to wash 
a cop out if I want to. I, you know, there's no, I don't know how many times in my life I go after Dawn or Windex. I don't take Windex with me, but I do take a little thing of Dawn just in case I need to wash out. You know, you never know, ladies. You know what I mean? Just to have a little something. And I have this in a tra little travel bottle. And I will usually put this in a Ziploc bag to, to double duty it, you know, so I don't, so just in case it would happen to leak. I know I have a, a yeah, I have a little sewing kit. I take a little sewing kit with me and I take a small pair of scissors in my checked luggage. I take a small pair of scissors too. Cause you never know if you like, you need to sew something. And also I take a, a little band-aids and a little Neosporin, you know, just in case you, you know, your heel gets, if you take a new pair of shoes with you, don't do that. But if you happen to take a new pair of shoes and it rubs your heel, you know, you have something or if you cut yourself or whatever. I also take uh, shout out wipes or shout wipes, you know, just for the stains on your shirt. And hopefully, you know, I take these on the plane with me too. So, but one thing I don't have packed up yet, you guys, is a little like a, a medical kit, like full of just like cold medicine, your favorite cold medicine. Uh you know, Tylenol, Advil, uh, your prescription medications, of course, don't forget your prescription meds. I do not take any prescription, thank goodness, right now, medications. Uh, Chris does, and when he goes, he takes them in his, the original bottle. But just to tell you that, I don't know what the rules are. You need to go, uh, those rules are more stringent on your uh, airliners and what, what your air carrier is, so do check for that please. Uh, but that's always good to have just, they, they'll have that in their sundry shop, but you know, on board, or you will probably be in a port where you could buy stuff like that. But I like to have it on hand just in case, you know, something happens that I don't want to have to give an arm or a leg or any other appendage, you know, for that. So, okay. One other thing must have in my little must have bag here is bull clips. And you're like, really, Arlen, what in the world are you gonna do with bull clips? I take three uh, and I clip them on the bottom of the shower curtain. And I clip them and then I put these up, you know, and that helps to hold, to weight the curtain down. If not, the curtain becomes your friend. And it's a friend that I would rather not have. Thank you very much. I don't like that touching me like that. And I'm like, really? Ooh, you, you. you know, I'm a clean freak anyway. And I don't like that kind of old, yucky, cold. Ugh. So I use that. We're going to see if it works. And you, well, these work great in a mini suite. Hopefully they'll work. I'm, I'm going to have just a shower. Shower stall. And I'll let you know whether they work with that. So that's everything I had in this bag. And, you know, I'll add my medications to that. Like I said, Advil, you know, a little bit of cold medicine, Dramamine and Bonine. I think that might be in here. I think I might have that in here somewhere. Maybe not. Uh, but I always take Bonine and Dramamine. Never once have had to take it. I've been cruising over 10 years and many, many, many cruises and I've never had to take it. I do not get seasick. Uh, and I say that and I'll get seasick on this cruise or something, but I've never gotten seasick before ever once. Never even queasy. So, but some people do. Some people do get queasy. So just take, they, again, they'll have that on the ships, but I just take it just to have it with me so I can have immediate relief, you know? Also, they say green apples. Usually on really uh, rough days, the staff will have green apples out and crackers out. A lot of people use wrist uh, C bands that they put on that that hit your pressure points. I don't know that much about them. You could Google that or ask somebody else. I don't know anything about C bands, but I know that's a thing for some people. Uh, and this is one thing I think is really cute. I take this little clip and I clip it around the towel rack in the bathroom. And I hang my, hang on, this is just a shower cap. I hang my shower cap in the shower. That way my steward does a poor thing, doesn't have to touch my yucky old shower cap. But I hang it, you know, on one of the towel racks and let it, you know, let it drip dry. And I take disposable 
shower caps. Again, I'll give you links for all of this in the description. Uh, these are just things that I found to come in handy, you know, in my years of cruising here. Uh, I'm going to laugh at me on this one. I take toothpicks. Of all things, I take toothpicks. You think you can find a toothpick on board a ship? I have never been able to find a toothpick on board a ship to save my life. Honest to goodness. I'm like, why don't they have toothpicks? What is the big deal? But I never could find toothpicks. Uh, I will take a, a little version of my hair gel. This is, I use Redken hair gel and I put it in this and I just keep this in here. This stuff doesn't really go bad well in the time. I'm only, it's only several months between cruises for me. And I just went in May and it's now October. This is fine. This is what I had for the May cruise and I'll use it for this cruise too. I will probably only wash my hair three times. I only wash it like every third day or whatever. So, but I do take my own shampoo. I don't like their shampoo. You will have shampoo and conditioner in a combined and then a, a body wash in the shower, but I don't like their, their, it makes my hair go flat. So I do take shampoo. The ships will have hair dryers, but they, have, they eat my hair, like the back of them have sucked my hair in. And you see, I don't have a whole ton of hair. I have, it's fine hair. I've got a lot of it, but it's fine. And you'd think I could, you know, dry my hair quick. Mm -mm, I can't. No, I can't. So I take my own hair dryer. I'm not going to this time because on the Royal or the Royal class ships, they have newer hair dryers that they have in a drawer and they, they work fine. You have to hold down the on though. You have to hold your finger on it. So if you have arthritis or something, you might want to take your own hair dryer. And if you, if you have trouble like holding down a button for a long time, be cognizant of that, that you may want to take your own travel dryer because the, you know, you, you do have to hold it on, on the, on the Royal, the Regal, the Majestic, the Sky and the Enchanted, you know, those ships will have their own hair. Well, they all have their own hair dryers, but the ones you have to hold will be those ships. Else I have in here is just basic stuff that we all take, uh, you know, a Q-tips and your makeup. I did buy this mirror for those of you who are on my, uh, to put my makeup on. Not like I wear a ton of makeup or anything, but I have a hard time standing in the bathroom. The bathroom, you guys, the lighting in there is just awful for putting makeup on. It's just awful. So, and then if the only other mirror in the place, well, there's sometimes two other mirrors, but the other one is at the desk and you have to lean over the desk to get close enough to see your eyes. And I've been, you know, way back from the mirror going, I wonder if I'm getting that in the right spot. Hmm. Oh, this eyeliner is going to be wonky, you know. So I finally decided like two weeks ago, well, Arlen, why don't you look to see if you can find yourself a little makeup mirror? So that's what this is. And I'll give you a link for this. You know, a little lit compact. And you can set it on the, on the table, you know, and do it like that. See that? So, love it. So I'm taking this. And it takes one of those 30, 20, 32 batteries and I am taking an extra battery just in case I need it. Uh, they do sell these that are USB charged. So you, you, I'll give you a link for this, but you may want to do an extra search for, uh, I had a friend, you know, say, hey, Arlen, they do sell them that are USB charged. And I'm like, duh, I didn't look far enough. You know, so they do have that. So there's that. My flossing, you know, you better floss every day. <laughs> so I take, you know, little package of those I have a razor you know just a disposable razor and a little mouthwash a little travel mouthwash you know so and that's it and of course I'm morning I'm getting ready to leave you know that's when all the rest of the cosmetics will go in you know and then that'll go right in my suitcase that'll be the last thing to go in my suitcase so on cruise ships sometimes if you are using you know like I always use princess transfers to get me from the ship to the airport on the day of you know disembarkation. We know none of us want to talk about that day. <laughs> but what they do, what Princess does, is they come and they collect your luggage the night before. So the only thing, you know, and they and they whisk it away and they ready it, you know, for transport to the cruise port. And uh, so you have to carry out whatever you either we're wearing that evening, uh, your morning cosmetics, 
and so on. So I usually take a small cosmetic bag with me, extra, and I don't have one here. Maybe in another video I'll show you what I take. Just a little cosmetic bag, and I take, you know, a mascara that's almost empty with me, you know, so I can throw it in there and just throw it away that morning. Uh, I take a, a little, a little tiny tube of travel, nothing more than three ounces than my travel uh, moisturizer and makeup and so on. And remember, you have to put, for you those in the United States, you have to be TSA compliant. So be aware that whatever you put in your carry-on, you needs to be under what, three point whatever ounces. And, uh, but sometimes they do, you can find these little carry-on compliant, ideal size for airport carry-on that you can, you know, squirt a little bit of makeup in these. That's, to, you know, to cover your toothbrush. And, uh, you know, a little spray bottle for maybe some hairspray or uh, whatever. Think about this and pick this up and you can put these down in your little Ziploc bags. So, uh, usually what I do, though, is I just buy a little mm. bottle of uh, mm. off-brand um, hairspray and I take that knowing that I'm going to use that on disembarkation morning and I'm not going to care about throwing it away or you know saving it for the next cruise but putting it in a Ziploc bag so be aware of that do understand that you that your regular size cosmetics will probably need to be in your checked bag you may you will come across your bag <clears throat> pardon me again at the cruise port you're going to have to collect your bag your big suitcase again so if you want to just put everything in a regular cosmetic bag throw it in your carry-on and get it off the ship and then if you have time but it is a mob you, you might have a minute to put you know a cosmetic bag throw it in your checked luggage but i just don't i'm just like why not just be prepared and you know keep cosmetics with you that you could either throw away or you know carry on the airplane with you so but anyway i think that's it uh for this one so let me close this one out with some final words for those of you on my arlen's travel channel uh <clears throat> please know that i say these words i feel that they were given to me from above uh shortly after i started my country craft corner youtube channel uh, for those on Country Craft Corner watching me, feel free to subscribe to my chan my travel channel. For those here on my travel channel, feel sh free to subscribe to my Country Craft Corner channel. I usually cross post. But sometimes uh, this channel will get, you know, my travel channel will get something when my Country Craft Corner doesn't and vice versa. I don't ever ask for subscribers, you guys. That's so not something that I've gotten in the habit of doing. I always figure if you want to subscribe, you will. But as of late, I've been hearing that folks have not been able to getting notifications of my uploads and things like that. So I have been mentioning it a little bit more now and again, just because I don't want you to miss something if you are interested. <laughs> so please do subscribe and hit that bell, hit that bell. Uh, some people have been saying they don't have a bell. If you have a bell, let me just put it that way, hit that bell <laughs> and that will give you a notification that I've uploaded. But anyway, but anyway, let me go into my final words. So let me just say that I hope that those who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.